What's up everyone? I'm Jamie and today I'm going to show you how I did this. Oh my goodness. What did I do? I did an updo on this mannequin. Okay. Try that again. <laughs> Try that again. What's up everyone? I'm Jamie and today I'm going to show you how to get all these short dreads into this updo. What what? If you're new to our channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We do three videos a week, including fun reviews, challenges, and I do hair videos every single Monday. Okay, so I've had this mannequin head for a few years. She has gone through a lot of trauma. She actually was given to another stylist that was just learning how to do hair and was told to mess up her hair as much as they could, and then I had to fix it. So with fixing it, she has these big bald spots. She has thin hair. She has really short dreadlocks. So hopefully, if you have any of these problems, this updo I'm going to show you will work for you. If you're ready to start, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna start in the center of the head. I'm going to take these two front dreads and just cross one in front of the other. If you have a short dread like this one, I'm just going to hold it down and kind of tuck it underneath the next one that I X over. Once I get to the middle of the back, about right here, take two longer dreads on each side and I'm just going to tie them in a knot right in front of that braid that we just did, like this. Same thing on the sides. So see, short one, I X them over, I try to keep them tucked under so that those ends don't pop out. Once I get to the end, I am just going to take two longer dreads, one from each side, and just tie it in a knot right around these ends, like that. One more time, I'm going to just take one dread, X it over the other, see, X. Once I get down about right behind the ear, I'm going to take two longer dreadlocks and just tie them in a knot right along those ends. See, looking cute already. Flip it over to the back. Now in the back, I'm just going to hold down those two little short ends from that knot that we just did, tuck them under, and form little knots around them with longer dreads from the sides. See, just like this. I'm gonna continue doing this all the way down and around the hair. So all the short ends get held down and tucked under, and I form bigger knots with the longer dreadlocks right on top of that. Your updo probably doesn't look exactly like this. Every time that I do this updo on this mannequin, it looks a little different. I just wanted to give you an idea of how to get all of your short dreads up without having to use any hair ties or bobby pins. What do you guys think? Do you like it? I think it's so freaking cute. So if you like this video, make sure to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe for new videos every single Monday. I'll see you guys next week. Bye. What does everybody want? Head. What does everybody need? I'm gonna do that one more time and then I'll start. And then I'll start. That seemed weird too, last time. Nope, stop saying if you're ready to start, let's go because I said that in the other thing. Nope, don't like that either. Gersh, 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 gersh. Look at that cute updo.